Hello everybody and welcome to some more Persona 5 Strikers. Today is the day we storm the castle and maybe, hopefully, cause a diversion and defeat the Lock Keeper. Everyone remember their rules? You, me, and Ryuji are going to destroy the searchlights. No worries there, we'll mess them up quick. As Futaba hacks into the control panel, Haru, Makoto, and I shall protect her. We're not to let a single shadow pass us. No worries there either. Okay, you guys are gonna be lifesavers. I swear I'll drop that wall, no matter what. My goal is to lure the initial wave of enemies elsewhere. After losing them elsewhere, I'll return to you. Thanks, Sophia. But don't be too reckless. Got it. I won't be too reckless. And the linchpin to this whole operation is... You're gonna be the star of this distraction. Make it as flashy as possible. I think I can do that. We're carving a path all the way to Alice's castle. So I wonder if this is gonna be like a warriors type wave situation. Um... Or if I just need to survive. Yes, go. I do. Let's go. Almost time. Yeah, let's do this. Careful, Joker. We got one coming up. All right, let's do it. All right, let's begin the operation. That was one hell of an entrance, Joker. They're all riled up. Just keep at it. Go ham until you've drawn every last bit of attention. Oh, I can go ham. I can go hammy ham. Come here. There we go. Nice and hammy, nice and hammy, nice and hammy. Alright, I'm gonna stay up here until we can get... Oh. There we go, now we can spin. Oh, that might be a good strat. Right, just get like a big hurdle, huddle, and then just spin, and do some damage. Oh, you have a big range. Come on, who's next? Who's next? There we go. Let's see you with the shield. Come here. What's that? Alright, let's get a big huddle here. Then we will spin. Is that a showtime? That would be great. Look at this panache. We got it. We're good. Oh, I just got hit. There we go. How about that? Alright. Here they come. Just got a nice big wave here. And spin.
Where? Are they transforming? No teddy bears. Please, no teddy bears. Oh, okay. No teddy bears. Oh, hello. I literally just sat here with my mouth wide open. <laughs> that was so cool. I've returned from my diversion. The plan appears to have been a success. Hey, great hustle out there, Sophie. Now all we have to do is storm the castle. Now Let's do it. Let's mop up the rest of these shadows so we can get to 705. Hello, everybody. Should we just clear the room? Oh, no, spinning with nobody around here. Okay. Anybody else? All right, so we want to go this way, right to the front gate? All right, where's Alice? Something here's calling. Focus. Does that mean there's a treasure chest? Also, the security's at 99%. Does that mean we shouldn't be here or we'll get kicked out? I wonder if we have to go this way. Maybe this is the path we took the... Oh, with the... Uh... Oh, it's been like forever since we've been over here. Uh, but this is where we wanted to go before with the searchlights, the right? Searchlights are off now. Yeah, and the killer teddy bear. Time to breach the enemy stronghold. Where? Hello. Show me your true self. Wide open. Let's go. All done? Easy. Are you sure, Morgana? No. Oh, 
Ooh, five corn and an owl man? Okay. Let's do a showtime. Whoa, hello. Oh, everybody leveled up. Okay. An easy win, don't you think? Here's hoping the next one's just as easy. Oh, my bad. Wait, what? This should prove useful. Oh, my bad, my bad. So, you're the one to fight in this game. You will go no further. Wow, okay. Oh! Alright, well, how about some gun action? Oh, no, that's not a. That's, oh my god, that's not a gun. That's the gun. Oh, she has shields! Oh my gosh, okay. So does her shield regenerate? Oh, they do regenerate. Okay. Well, how about... Wait. There we go. No, because her. She's going to break the shield. Break the shield. Break the shield. There we go. Where's her persona? It's up to you. Do you not always get one? That takes care of that. Guess not. Alright, we wanna go this way. Make sure we're not missing any goodies. Where? We're going in? We can get inside from here. Once we get in the castle, we're heading straight for the roof. Let's do it. I'm ready. Let's go. All right, let's go. All right, we're in. We're picking up that treasure like snow right above us in the throne room. Oh. So is that for... Oh, wait, what? Try not to do anything careless. What are these? Focus. It looks like... A path? Starting here? There's no prompt, so maybe... I can see it. This will have to be for something. Okay, and they all start here, it looks like. Wait, what? Hold up. Okay. But what would be the first one? See, this one doesn't have anything coming from it. So that's why I'm thinking... Wait, this is going towards it. This is going away. So maybe you're the first one? There's a switch. Should I use it? Go for it. I can see it. All right. So I'm wondering if these have to be pressed in certain order. So we're just going to follow these footprints. What's that? But there's none going... <laughs> Sorry, Gwenny's hearing some people outside. Um, okay, so maybe this one then? I can see it. And then this should be the last one, right? If we're following the footprints the right way. There we go. Hey, that did it. Good sleuthing, Joker. Let's get on up. You are very much welcome, Oracle. All right, onward. see anything with our third eye so it would just go up maybe 
Nope, we gotta fight. Okay. Intruders, get them! Easy stuff. How dare you filth defy her majesty? Ew, rude. Um, but anyway, I don't see any with the, uh, Super Saiyan Lightning Bolts, so I think we should be good. Where are they at? Oh, excuse you. Yes, I did. Good. Where's the elevator? Ooh, one of Oracle's special support skills. This can grant Kaja type buffs, HP recov, and SP recov, among other beneficial effects. Cool. It looks like I've learned another new skill. All right, onward. What? Did we just get ambushed? Come here. There we go. You're all easy pickings. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Where are they coming from? Oh, we've got drones. You. Come on. There you go. Who's next? Joker's good, Joker's good, don't worry. Oh, we get a showtime, okay. Here we go. Oh, I like that one. I just realized there's a countdown. Okay, that was a countdown to survive. That was a pretty rough ride. Everyone holding up? They really aren't messing around with us anymore. We've gone quite a ways up already. How much further to the top? We should be there soon, right? I'm seeing firecrackers though, which means there's going to be somebody else. Yeah, there he is. You'll never reach the royal hall. The cost of defying her majesty is your hands. Who are you turning into? Oh, you again. Okay. The exploring can wait until we know it's safe. We got it. We got it. Come here, buddy. Oh, I thought we can aim those. We can't. Okay. Come here. There you go. Can we get a showtime on her? I want to see hers. Oh, sweet. Okay, good job, Panther. So then we just go to the door, right? Oh, 
What? Now this door what? won't open. But this door leads to the stairwell. Hmm. Maybe we should check outside. Could be worthwhile. Okay, so. Nothing on this. my radar. Looks like we're safe for now. So how do we? Oh wait. What's this? Does it want us to go outside? This is where the smell's coming from. Be ready for anything, guys. Is this some kind of bird cage? What is this doing here? And where's Alice? She doesn't seem to be here. Is that a trap? Have we been trapped? Treasure? No, I can tell now this is something completely different from a treasure. <sighs> Everyone, hide! Shadows ahead. What are they doing here? Are those the desires? Have you brought all the desires? Yes, sir. It's all of them so far. Desires? More are coming soon. Capture every last one of them, seize their desires, and bring them here. Understood, sir. Hey, those are... Those are desires. So... Yeah, no mistake, those are definitely desires. Yeah, they're the same as what we saw the other day. here right so those jewels are the desires they looked like they got sucked up into that light there's no question that treasure like shimmering up there that's the desire that is we did hear alice was collecting them but that was a pile of gems how come they turned into that shimmery thing this is just speculation but Maybe that up there's the original form of a desire? After all, people's desires don't naturally have a single concrete form. Because we all find our own desires precious. That could be why they look like gems here. When the people had their desires seized by the shadows, they consciously felt them being taken, so the desires took form then. But what turned them back into light? Their desires are still stolen. Maybe Alice is considered their owner now that they're in her birdcage here. Alice doesn't seem to believe they can be stolen back. That's why they turned back into their baseball. It does seem to follow logically. At any rate, if we reclaim the desires and release them from this cage, people may well return to normal. Yeah, it's definitely worth a try. One moment. How does one steal light? Uh, I don't know what a calling card is, so we make it. We make it take form? Yep. With a calling card. A calling card? What is that? It's how we make that shimmery light take material form. If we make the owner aware that someone is after their treasure, it takes form. Desires should work the same way. To do it, we send a calling card to our target that says we're going to steal whatever is most precious to them. I got it. Oh, like I a ransom note. Are we sure it'll work, though? This isn't a palace with a treasure. Nothing is obtained without action. We must at least try first. For now, let's focus on securing our infiltration route. Hell yeah! I'm getting there first! Oh! What was that? door is there another barrier am i hearing something sophie wait is it a shadow Did you just go away what do you think you're doing looking at the guys like that she is like such a waste of space you know totally she's such a 
Wait, was Alice bullied? No. I just the hell was that? You heard it too? A memory hidden by the monarch. Sophie, are you all right? No problem here. However, I did figure something out. That memory we heard is the key to the barrier. How's that? This cage is currently locked. You're right. What's that doing there? It will require a key, which we will find in the room those voices came from. It will be some sort of secret room. But we can't find this room here. We need to return to reality for that. Reality? Why, Why is that? I thought everything the was in the meta. Completely isolated. Its entrance exists only in the real world. Oh. How do you know all that? One of your programs or something? That's interesting. I do not know. I merely sense it. Maybe the lock on this cage is somehow linked to a lock in Alice's heart. Monachan? If Sophie's right. What we heard just now is a memory of the monarch. That means it's extremely important to her. I have a feeling that memory is acting as the lock on her heart, keeping us from getting past that door. So the lock's an important memory. It's only natural that the key to this place would be hidden somewhere that no one would find. That logic is indeed sound, but how is it possible? This is all just speculation so far. I've never seen anything like this either. This could be another difference between the palaces and this jail. We can't reach the secret room in this world, you said? Correct. We must find the location in reality instead. And that would be... I was not able to detect it. But it should be related to those voices somehow, right? Hmm. I could be wrong, but didn't it sound like someone was getting bullied? Looking at guys like that. Yeah, definitely Maybe Alice. School age? That could be brilliant deduction, Panther. I'm just no stranger to hearing that kind of stuff, is all. What, Panther? really? If Wait, what's her right? backstory? Oh, I need Does to play these other the games. We need is somewhere in Alice's old school. That would be logical. Because now I'm like wondering, like, do they all have like depressing, heartbreaking backstories that they've had to overcome? Because that's my kind of character development. I feel like I could be friends with all of them here. So we're definitely going to play Persona 5 and maybe the other ones as well, because they are on PlayStation now. I think so. What the what? How are there no results? Really? But isn't stuff like where celebs went to high school easy to find online? Usually, yeah. But this time, no hits, even on the underground sites. All I'm seeing is fake info from deluded fans. Even if she changed her name, there'd still be traces of that somewhere. Usually. Shit even you can't find Futaba? This reeks of a serious scrub job. Someone, probably her, intentionally hid her past. This is quite the setback. If we don't discover Alice's alma mater, we'll never find a way into that secret room. But isn't it, like, impossible to just erase stuff from the internet on your own? How else could we approach this? What if Maku-chan's sister looks into it for us? She's a prosecutor-turned-lawyer. Maybe she'll have access to useful intel we couldn't gather ourselves. Oh, that could work. Think it's doable, Makoto? I don't have a problem doing it. How exactly would I go about asking? Personal information and histories are legally protected. So I doubt she'd readily agree to hand that over to us. Yeah, just asking her to tell us where Alice went to school is not gonna fly. I hear you there. I really don't want to wind up on the other side of a table with her getting all... Answer me! Ah, uh, okay. Alice Aragi's school. Oh? Shady Kappa? Does he know? It's, it's the guy from... The Shady Detective. I'm pub sec, not just some cop detective. Wait, I'm not shady. You're yes, a little shady. Quite. These kids are something else. Would you quit saying that kind of stuff with that smile on your face? So what do you want? Come on, enough of the cold shoulder. 
You know I'm trying to help you out. You help us? You want to know where Alice Shiragi went to school, right? Uh, yeah, but how'd you figure that out? Did you know how easy it was to eavesdrop on you here? For some reason, there's almost no personal info available on Alice Hiraki, especially prior to her debut. That is just a big old blank. So, since this is giving you all a hard time, I've swooped in to lend a hand. Intel and Alice would be no sweat for me over in PubSec HQ, so how about it? Want some help? Nah, we're good. We'll handle it on our own. Yep. <laughs> Ryuji. Just a little more time and I'll get it myself. Great. Happy to help. Wait, come on now. This is a real deal connection here. Just be grateful and take the intel. We're sorry. We just have zero trust in the police. I told you. It's understandable. When you say that. Fine. I've got to earn your trust first. I get it. Alice Hiragi is your senpai. What? She attended Kosei High? Hmm? Uh, no. Everyone's senpai but yours. She went to Shujin? And don't forget it. Because you owe me one now. Got it? Well, there he goes. It's hard to gauge whether he's friend or foe. More importantly, how did he know where Alice went to school? Could the police already have their eyes on her as well? It's possible. Wait, the senpai, so like teacher? But we can trust him. For now, at least. Well, I guess all we can do now is try it. We can find the secret room if we go to Shujin, right? That appears to be correct. Everything should go. And we'll have access. Oh, <laughs> Sophie, well, what well, are you well, doing? Well, well, huh? <laughs> what was sure. that noise? Yeah. With that settled, let's all head to Shujin now. There's no point in dawdling here. Yeah, Makoto's right. Time to check out Shujin Academy. Hmm. Shujin Academy. I never would have thought we'd be going back there under these circumstances. If we're entering the jail through Shu Shujin, we have no idea what we'll find on the other side. Let's make sure we're all good with the supplies and equipment before diving in. Once you're ready, we should join up with everyone at the hideout. That way, we can all go to Shujin together. Um, actually, I think we're good, so maybe we should just go to Shujin? Is this where you want us to go? And you want us to go to Cafe Le Bon. Alright, upstairs we go. Let's get to work. I should write something. All right, let's head to the destination. Are we sure this is right? I'm not seeing anything weird. I have no doubt. This place gives me the same sensation as when I touch the birdcage. Think this is what would bring me back here. Uh, getting nostalgic, it hasn't changed a bit. Let's pop in and see what's up. Uh, getting nostalgic. I suppose so, even though it's only been about half a year. Still, I had no idea Alice Hiragi graduated from Shujin. I didn't either. And I figured a student council president would know better than anyone about celebrity graduates. Perhaps she had a past here that she wished to erase. What do you mean? Those voices we heard in her jail. Those cutting words in that painful. I don't know whether she was one of the instigators or the victim of such bullying. However, she experienced it. Left such a gaping wound in her heart that she refuses to even acknowledge the truth of the matter. And that truth took place right here. So that's why Shujin has a secret room. <laughs> well, we should get moving. What's next? We may not be in Shibuya, but this place is still linked to its jail. Inputting the proper Emma keyword should permit access as usual. Okay, let's try it. Everybody ready? I'm ready. Yeah, we're ready. Keyword, Wonderland. Keyword successfully entered. 
Beginning navigation. <clears throat> so, it's a classroom? Is this what a school is like? It's rather different than how the internet makes it appear. The cognitive distortion's really strong here. What's going on? Uh, hey, look! Oh. Ghost! It's a shadow, right? Are you seriously crying? Ugh, how pathetic. Trying to get us to go easy on you. You tricked him the same way too, didn't you? No, I... I'd never do that. What? What is this? Yeah, but why do I always keep this? Jesus. Ugh. Schoolgirls can be so mean. Oh. Okay, rude. Yeah, because that's not horrific. What the hell? Careful, here it goes. All right, here we go. I think this is the lock keeper, right? Yeah. No one wants you around. Oh shit! What the hell is going on? This thing just flipped out out of nowhere. The room's also changed. These prison cells. No time. Here it comes. Look sharp, folks. We should avoid wasting energy on our attacks. Okay. Oh, jeez. Wait, he has shields too, though. Just like the, uh, that weird, like, succubus creature? So maybe we should just break these down first. With shots. Okay. Whatever that is. We should take some of these shadows out. Oh, I'm out of ammo. No, 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 no. There we go. Oh, you have like a lot of ammo. Also, it's not. Oh, wait, it's weak to fire? Oh, then we can use on, right? No escape. Here we go. Oh, she's doing a lot of good damage. Oh, we're out of ammo. Well, maybe we can get her showtime then? Because she does fire attacks, right? From her bio? Oh, we have showtime. Dangerous things, horrible things set in the classroom. Yeah, it really is. Okay. Well, let's get some Sophie. There we go. Have we seen her showtime yet? Come on, Sophie, you got this. Hit him with your yo-yo. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Sophie's got this. Sophie's got this. Wait, where'd he go? Oh wait, there's a persona. Where's Joker? There we go. I'm gonna pick that up. Did we do it? Hang on. Something's up. That can't be good, right? Because we're still in Shibuya, even though we're at the academy. recent target held the key in other words we defeated the warden guarding the key a warden in alice's memories a key to the cage in her jail so a different shadow held the key not alice's what are you going on about uh, oh nothing i was just thinking how many differences there are from the palaces good point the palaces don't have any rooms like these or wardens guarding keys in hidden locations it's as if the more we learn, the messier the situation gets. If it weren't for Sophie, we wouldn't have even made it here. Have I been helpful to the Phantom Thieves? Mm-hmm. You know it. Praise accepted. Mm. Well, we'll praise you all you want later. We've got a birdcage to bust open. True. We have one last task in the real world first. Let's send Alice the calling card and take back those desires. That's left to send in the calling card. What should it say? We're after the desires that Alice is seizing from the people whose hearts she changed, right? Then don't we have to write something like, We shall take back the desires you've seized! Smart. Using the same logic that works on treasures is probably our best shot. Once the desire takes form, we can steal it. If we return the victims their own desires, everyone should return to normal. So... What'll happen to Alice, then? Well, she should be having a change of heart and confessing soon after. Actually, that's not set in stone. What we're stealing this time are the desires that Alice seized from others. This isn't her own desire or ambition. Or like the treasure we found in palaces. There's no way of knowing... So you're saying she's still gonna be an Alice's evil little brat she, after we she, get the desires back. Even if rescue her victims, without a change of heart in Alice, this will just turn into a pointless cycle. But if the calling card works, her desire will manifest inside the birdcage. That creates a high probability that we'll encounter Alice's shadow there. We did cause quite a scene destroying the lock. Whether through words or fists, don't we still have the opportunity to change her heart via her shadow? Then let's do it. Let's take her head on. Oh, uh, sorry. I know that's the dangerous approach, but if you guys are all up for it, we want to rescue Alice too, not just her victims. Alice said she wanted to be a ray of light that could inspire people suffering through life. You mean when she was on TV? I don't know if she really meant all that. Yeah, I'm with no, Reiji. I, I don't think she meant I any of that because she, she was it. such a because of all the bullying in her past. unpleasant person I mean, in the hallway. <laughs> To her like assistant? Part of Alice's trauma in the secret room? 
Yeah, but that's not an excuse. It's like an invisible wound in a person's heart. It comes from living through painful experiences. A wound in a heart. Maybe that trauma is the whole reason the jail formed. Trauma distorted Alice's heart, giving birth to the jail. That is very similar to Or maybe generation. Sophie's Alice's heart? I've got to say it's possible. But how is that trauma relevant to Alice's current behavior? This is just a hunch, but I think she sees what she's doing as some kind of revenge against the kinds of girls who treated her badly. Stealing someone's dude right in front of her as revenge to Alice? Oh, that's pretty sick. But her shadow's operation is way too massive for that to be all. She just has too many victims already. What if she simply kept escalating because no one was there to stop her? Becoming a monarch must create an awful amount of distortion. All that only makes me want to help Alice more. If her heart's grown that distorted, then I want her to at least remember how it feels being a ray of light for somebody. Is she beyond helping at this point? I don't know. But there has to be someone who at least tries. We can't just abandon Alice. Oh, Lady On. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say you're right. I don't know how I feel about it, but I think she's right. I'm with you. Let's do it. No objections here either. However, should we engage her in combat, we must avoid taking her life at all costs. Absolutely. That's out of the question. Best case scenario, we just talk her out of it. Guys, do you think I could write the calling card this time? There's something I need to tell her personally. Yeah, it's all yours. You got this on. Thanks. It'll be great. Writing a calling card? Need any help? Ooh, you can help me with the phrasing, Sophia. Awesome. All we gotta figure out now is the delivery. <laughs> I may have a plan for that. This is a special reunion of the Phantom Thieves. We gotta do this right. Hey. Is there anything you forgot to do? Make sure you get everything wrapped up by tonight. Once we send the calling card, there's no backing out. Okay, well, everybody, it seems like this will be a good place to stop for today. So next episode, we take on Alice, we find out if she can be saved or if she just needs to be destroyed like the evil person that she is in the real world and the metaverse. I don't know. I have my theories. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take a break. So uh, don't forget to give this video a like, thumbs up. Head to the comments. Let me know what games you'd like to see come up next. I just picked up quite a few uh, PS5 games. Uh, Life is Strange, Control. Um, I know Cyberpunk uh, released their patch for PS5. It's like 50 gigs. I don't know if I want to download it um, or if I want to try it since I had kind of a messy launch. But uh, if you're interested, let me know in the comments also. Um, and subscribe. And enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to go. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to snack up, get some coffee, grab some water, and then we're going to send our calling card, come back, and defeat Alice, and see what's next for the story. But until then, bye-bye.